What's going on guys and girls? Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I just wanted to start off today's video by saying thank you to everyone for your support over the last few ones that we've made. It means a lot to us, so thank you so much. Please keep hitting that thumbs up button. If this is your first time watching our channel and you like videos about buying stuff and then reselling it online for a profit, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But today's video should be pretty cool. We went to some estate sales, found some really cool stuff, and we'll show you some of our recent sales on eBay. It's gonna be a good video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go. So this one said moving sale. I think there's a couple. There's two on the street, so yeah. Strong alley. Worked out last night. Well, the sky's really cool right now. It is, it was wow. beautiful this morning. Yeah, all right. What do we have? Crate. It's a carpet steamer. Look, baby, yeah, I don't know if broken, though. I don't know. You love baskets. I do love baskets. Also, what is that? Oh. I thought they were cast iron. Me too. Rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Some old cookbooks can be worth a lot of money. Well, that's cool. Allie, look at this trunk. It's pretty cool, right? It's got, like, the built-ins on it. It's nice. Computer. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh. Thirty-five is a good deal for that. Look at the little egg cups. Some cool frames. Would you want these? There are th three of them for $10. Yeah. Some revealware pots. That is cool. What is that, rattan? Or caning. 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 Is it real caning? Oh, it is the um. It's not real. Oh. Oh. So that's. I don't see a maker anywhere. Oh my god, it looks real. That's crazy. Nice. It's plastic. Yeah, that's yeah. plastic. Plastic. It wasn't one of those where you sent in like cigarette coupons to get. Nope. You don't think? Okay, because nope. nope. I know we see the plastic gold. Like yeah. candlestick oh, holders, those yeah. Ones, yeah. and they have a matching mirror. And if yeah. you got enough cigarette coupons, you would send them in, and they would give you a thing. You so. see the Santa earrings? I love. <laughs> I think just the frames, yeah. Just okay, frames, ten dollars. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, Appreciate thank you. It. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You thank have a you. great day. You too. Thank you. The more I sell, the better the day gets. I hope you and sell it all. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. How's it going? Oh, look at the cat. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, you take care. Hey, kitty. You got a YouTube yeah. channel, don't you? Yeah. R Rally, Rally Roots. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Not too bad. I can't complain. Look at the kitty. Hi. Yeah, I was just out this way, so I was like, I'll just see if there's any good garage sales. But... <laughs> well, this might not be the best one. Hey. You got video games. <laughs> yeah, if you want to call them that. <laughs> Nothing for me, huh? This uh, is pretty cool. No shoes. Well, a couple shoes, but those are new ones. I don't know if necessarily. Shoes. Well, it was nice to meet you. Wait, it's Appreciate uh, it. good to meet you, too. you got a lot yeah. of great content on Thanks, there. man. You Thank know. you very much. I think I started watching about like a year ago or something. Cool. Like that. Awesome. And, uh, so, I appreciate the tips. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Have a good Take one. Care, yeah, you too. Bye. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good. Fifty bucks for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. There's, if you're looking for video games or because usually the young people want video games and stuff, I don't have any. No worries. So just I saw, actually I saw in the in the ad that you had um, a motorcycle jacket. Do you still have that? BMW. Brand yeah. new. Never been worn. It's in the back. Oh, that one. Oh. Yeah, it's brand new. Got the tags on it. What's this is what that lady was talking about outside. The How much do you want for it? He, I think he wants like. There you go. Like like 150 for it. Okay. It's European sizes. He never, you know, it's got the full pack. Yeah. So let me okay. do this here. 
a cool Mickey hat. Disney Golf Collection, six bucks. What do you guys think? Can I rock the Mickey hat? <laughs> this is actually perfect for walking around the theme parks. Uh, I paid six dollars for it. It's kind of slim pickings out here today, uh, but you got to take what you can get, I guess. Paid six dollars. I think that uh, we could probably sell it for maybe 30 to 35 bucks. So not a whole lot of profit, but it is cool. I feel like Allie would love that. <laughs> Cleveland Indians. Old. Lease. Port 1999 Red Sox. Vintage Mickey. Oh, that one's cool. Ooh, yeah. That one's cool. That's a really cool vintage Betty Boop. Looks like we got some country music tees, too. This is 90s Alan Jackson. Year. This is 1998. Cool. And then we got a George Strait. Nice. That's a good one too. 91 George Strait. Do you have prices on the clothing? Okay. I wasn't the, sure. These shirts. Yeah. The are, shirts. Those are. That one's 50 cent. The other two are a dollar. Okay. This one's two dollars. Okay. And that five. Okay. So what is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine bucks. Nine, yep. That's is that right? Good. Okay, I think I did the right. <laughs> Ten's fine. Thank you. Okay, That's fine. Honey, thank you so much. Yeah. Do you want your hangers? No. You sure? No. I'm you can positive. have them back. You can have, you can <laughs> okay. have some more if you want. Oh no, I'm good. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you hanger four now. I appreciate it. It's, it's cool, man. Beyond cool. It's the most fabulous thing I've ever seen in my life. Yay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was only five dollars. What? what? I would have paid twenty four. That's nice. <laughs> it's in good condition too. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. Oh I don't know if it'll fit God. you, but it looked like it was your size. I'm pretty sure it's my size. Ooh. Just, 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 Aren't you cool? <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, babe. I'm wearing this to Vegas, babe. Oh, it's a great Vegas dress. Yeah. It's all beaded. I was going to be jealous. Sorry oh in advance. For how good this dress is. <laughs> nice, babe. As far as the values go on these items, the, the Betty Boop, I value around maybe $20 to $25. The Darth Maul Vintage Lee Sport Denim shirt, I value this one around maybe $50, $60. It's really nice. This is all embroidered. The 1991 George Strait shirt, this looks like about a size extra large, no tag. I value this one maybe around $30, $40. And then the Alan Jackson 1996 high mileage shirt, uh, around the same. I would say around 30, 40 bucks. This one does have the tag and I believe it's a size extra large. There's a Cali, there's a Cali, there's a Cali. There's a me. I like your hat. Hello, thanks. It's pretty sweet. We still have some in our merch store. I think we have a couple left, yeah. If you guys want to rally roots hat, there you go. Hey, can you record for me quick? Yes, sir. I wanted to show this, uh, this lot over here. Because remember we found these vintage Tommy jackets? Yes. And they've just been sitting here for like two years or something like that. <laughs> so I posted them on Instagram yesterday and I did have someone hit us up about them. So I think I'm going to send them some better videos and see if I can sell them. Um, what am I asking? I think I'm asking like 350 for all four which seems like a pretty good deal. I was saying like two years ago, this one itself by itself would have sold for like 300. So yeah, they are pretty cool though. So we'll see, we'll see if I can get those sold today. We also have to do something about all this dead stock stuff that came in. So this is all like 2004, well, like 2002 to 2005, I would say. So not quite vintage yet, but yeah, still, still good, still valuable. I mean, some of this stuff, like these are um, these are a death row 
Records t-shirts with like Snoop Dogg and stuff on them. So I think these are worth like a hundred bucks a piece. Um, but I'm assuming more than likely because we have so much of this and we have more on the way, we have another like hundred pieces or something like that coming. I think more than likely what we'll do is put these into like reseller lots and then drop them on the vtgroots.com website. So that'll probably be in the next two weeks. We'll make it so people can at least like double their money on the stuff. But yeah, there's some good stuff here. See what I'm saying? OzFest 2005, you know? Some of this stuff would be good to like stash away for a few years. People ask us that all the time too. Like, do we ever invest in t-shirts? And not a lot of the times, but sometimes we'll buy like higher end t-shirts and then just stash those away. Um, like I have a couple Nirvana t-shirts and Red Hot Chili Peppers t-shirts that just aren't for sale right now because we're gonna wait and let them kind of appreciate more of an investment. <laughs> Look at that sold fold. Callie is the sold fold champion. TLC. That's the TLC we showed in the last video that sold for $600. Tender love and care. Is that what that stands for? I don't think so. <laughs> what you looking for? I'm following you. Some Lululemon. Lululemon. Hey, look, they're right here on top for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. What do those sell for? Like 40 bucks maybe? I didn't look. 35, 40? Probably. We'll take a look. I think I listed them at like 47. Okay, so probably 40 bucks. By the way, this is our bin system. Um, when we list something on eBay, we give it a little label in that custom SKU field and then it tells us when it sells, it tells us where to find the item. So Callie knew exactly where to go to find those Lulus. B, 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 B. Are they these ones? Probably. These ones. These sold for $25 shipped, I think. They sold for like $15 plus 10 shipping back when we charged shipping. These are an older pair. Um, but still, like their Keen's not in amazing condition and they sold for 25 bucks. James Taylor Raglan. I wonder where that's hanging. See, this is where our organization is bad. When it comes to the vintage shirts, we basically just hang them. Oh no, look, it's right there. Oh, nice. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. So this James Taylor, what is this, 81? Yeah, 81 tour Raglan shirt. This one sold for $85. Size large. Good little sale on that. There's an example of an 80s anvil tag. So check it out, look, I'll show you the difference. This is a 2005 anvil tag. Same company, one from the 80s, one from 2005. Wow. Pretty cool, right? The Tommy jacket's old. They sold to one of our, uh, our Instagram friends. What's his handle? Lucky something? Lucky Hold on. Lucky Finds. Lucky Finds? Yeah, we met him in Orlando, remember? Him and his, him and his wife? Yeah, Lucky Funds. Did we go and get ramen with them? We got ramen with oh, them. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that Super their name was Lucky Funds. Yeah, that's them. I sold the four jackets for 350 shipped. They've been sitting there for like over a year and a half. And you just haven't touched them. I haven't touched them. And I think I paid 250 for all of them. So we're making a little bit of money, but yeah. moving inventory, which is more important Honestly, right now. Yeah. So Callie is going to box them up and ship them out and let us know how she shipped them and how much it costs to ship. Oh, yeah, I Captain. Excuse me. Is that your chair? The real boss. Hey, can I? She's like, a boss. <laughs> oh. I could say that word. Oh, it's so okay. cute. Can I get my seat back, please? No. Can I get my seat back, please? Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Really appreciate it. just look at that. you like you're an idiot if you tried to do that. <laughs> She'd be like, idiot. You're a good girl. Come here. <laughs> look at Maybe how she always sleeping. looks at us like we're dumb. And honestly, I'm not offended. Oh. Look, hi. Oh. oh, wait, look at the camera. Momo. Oh, oh. Callie made a box for the jackets. Franken box. I did it. Great job. All four are in there? Yep. That's pretty good. Allie's meeting with the contractor for the house. Hey, so quick story. Uh, we got home from the warehouse and I was just sitting at home and I had some time to kill. It's kind of raining, as you can see. But I had some time to kill, so I went down to our local Goodwill store and I literally went through everything 
in the store and it is later right they're almost closed it's like 5 30 p.m right now but i went through everything and i found one thing for three dollars i found an extra large affliction brand t-shirt don't get me wrong it's a good t-shirt we'll probably flip it for 25 to 27 dollars three dollars into 25 it's a it's a decent flip but i wanted to share this with you guys because i i just wanted to let you know that we do not always find amazing stuff at thrift stores and there's so many videos out there on youtube of people only showing their wins and sometimes when you just like compress an entire day of thrifting into one short video it can give people unrealistic expectations so i'm here to tell you that it's very often that we'll go into a thrift store and we leave empty-handed and sometimes we leave with one item that we paid three dollars for and we'll make some money on but it's not a lot of money. Thrifting is hit or miss. It's not something to rely on entirely, and it's not something that is always consistent, and it does take a lot of time. You're not gonna find amazing stuff at every thrift store. Anyway, just wanted to put that in today's video as well. Oh, hey, it's Friday. You wanna see what we sold? First off, we sold this Psycho Bunny button down a uh, striped Easter looking shirt that sold for $27. Then we sold these Nikes, they're nice condition. These are called Flex Trail Running Shoes. Anyway, they sold for $37. And then we sell a lot of Cole Haan, these zero grand shoes. These sold for $45. We haven't sold some cowboy boots in a while, but these are new with tags. Vintage Boots, Masterson Boot Co. They sold for $64. And some Bread and Butter Keens. Those sold for $15 plus $9.95 shipping. Some Sash Shoes. These used to sell really well for us. They don't do that great anymore. Um, but these are small enough that I can just ship them out in the flat rate envelope or maybe a padded flat rate. So we'll save on shipping, but these sold for $22. And then this bad boy, this animator mug, Stein, Moochin beer, Scorbrow Moochin. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's only sold for $20. We've had this thing forever though, so we're just getting it out of the way. Uh, so that'll be nice and fun to ship. Maybe I'll show you. Someone said in the last video you wanted to see how we ship fragile items, so I'll do that. Okay, so for fragile, items. I like to first roll them up in some uh, packing paper. All right, so now it's in packing paper, which isn't going to protect it very well. So I'm going to put some thick bubble wrap around it too. So now it's nice and snug. Okay, so for this item, I'm going to double box it because it's a nice thick glass and we don't want it to get broken. So now that it's puffed and papered, I'm gonna put it in the smaller box. And there's still a little bit of gap in here, empty space, so I'm gonna get some packing paper and fill that in too, because you don't want the inner box shifting around in the bigger box. Okay, I'm gonna do one more layer of bubbles because my sheet didn't go all the way over. So I'm just gonna tuck it in. And that's how you do it. Of course, I'm gonna keep taping, but you don't wanna hear all the awful tape sounds, right? But so that's how we ship fragile stuff. As you can see, it makes no noise when you move it. So it shouldn't break in transit. I just wanna say how thankful and grateful we are to have Callie on our team. She does such a good job. And it's so cool to be able to like go and source and grow the business while Callie manages the day-to-day -day tasks of actually running the business. Cause she's like our, she's like our full fledged business manager. She does so much for us. So thank you, Callie. We really do appreciate you. And we hope that you know that. Hey, but also before I end today's video, I just wanted to show you these five t-shirts. Um, I'm running a little bit of an experiment, right? I took five t-shirts and I started them at 99 cent auctions on eBay. Last night I started them. They all have bids already, um, but I'll leave a link to our eBay store so you guys can go and see what they sell for. Like I said, it's just an experiment to kind of, you know, eBay likes auctions, so it kind of keeps your store fresh. And what we found is when we run auctions like that, they get a lot of bids and get a lot of attention, a lot of watchers. When we do that, we actually make more buy now sales as well on eBay. So that's the idea. 
seven day auction on these five t-shirts. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And then in next week's video, we'll let you know how much they all sell for. But I think that this is probably a good place to end today's video. You guys are so awesome, we love you. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. We're trying to like up the quality of the content that we put out. So hopefully you can, you know, hopefully you recognize that and you enjoy it. And thank you again so much for watching. Appreciate it. If you don't mind, hit the thumbs up button on this video and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. Later everyone, bye. Have a great weekend, later.